So this is a multi-part series on hacking the PSP. Well, I accidentally clicked update to 6.61 instead of using the update that comes in the hack pack. If you're watching my other video, you'll see the hack pack. But on this one, I clicked the wrong one, which is 6.61. It's not really an issue because all you got to do, I'll put this link in the description. You're going to use a downgrader called Chrono Switch. So you're just going to go to this link. It's either going to come up like this or a file sharing service, but I just use straight through Google. You're going to click this download link right here. And it's going to pop down here and download. Once you're done with that, you can go ahead and close that out, minimize it, whatever. You're going to open up your file viewer. This is in your downloads, the PSP 660. So I use 7 zip, but you can use WinRAR. All you're going to do is extract the files, and you're going to have these. You're going to have the PSP Go and the PSP 1000. That's 1000, 2000, 3000 model. Uh, and you're going to, when your PSP is plugged in and in USB mode, you'll get it down here. Mine's G. Your PSP will probably have a lot of stuff on it, but I deleted all the folders from music videos, all that crap. So you're going to open PSP and then right here in the game, that's where you're going to put it. So first, you're just going to move our chrono switch. Just going to put it right in the game folder. Then you're going to grab this X for the 1000s if you're running a 1, 2, or 3000. Same thing, straight into the game folder. Now if that's done, let's go over to the PSP and we'll knock it out. Okay, we're back on the PSP. This is a 3001. Grab my tripod, so I'm just going to hold it. You'll notice I'm on 661. And if you watch the video on the hack pack, You'll notice that it is for 660. So when you come in here to do your actual updating or your fast recovery, it's not going to work. It's going to say it's not for. So we're going to use Chrono Switch to downgrade it to 6.60. It's real simple, but it's the same thing as any other update. You will break your PSP if you lose power. So make sure you're plugged in the power. Make sure you got a battery in there. Actually, won't do it without a battery. If you're just updating a game, you can hold the left trigger in the triangle and it'll skip that requirement of your battery over. I think it's 60 something percent, 70 percent, even without a battery. If you're just plugged in, you can update a game, but it will not work if you're doing an actual system update. So, you're just going to get this little message here. We're just going to press X to continue. As you can see, we're going from 6.61 to 6.60. Press the X button. Let it ride. This is just telling you you're accepting the risk that you could possibly break your PSP. Now don't get scared, that does take a while to pop up to get to this screen. It just goes black for a while, so it makes you scared like you did break your PSP, but it doesn't. Start. Now this is just the normal. PlayStation update, just like you would straight from the PlayStation Store. Now we're installing. I'm not going to make you watch all this, and I don't want to hold it the whole time, so we're just going to fast forward. Now we're booted back up. Go over just to check. Make sure we're on 6.6.0. Go down to System Information. 6.6.0. That's it. Thanks for watching. Now that you're at this point, go ahead and continue to the next video. And I'll show you how to hack the PSP.